With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, here our question is the wear AV of a meter bridge change linearly from radius R to 2R from the left into right end, right? Here is the radius R and this is radius 2R. Okay. Now it is saying that where should the free end of the galvanometer be connected on AV so that the deflection in the galvanometer is zero? Okay. And the different options are given that is 33.33 cm from A, 66.66 cm from A, 50 cm from A, 20 cm from A, uh, sorry B, right? Now if you consider here it is a two circular end, right? This is our one circular end and uh, this is another circular end, right? Right now, let me draw it first. Okay, this is our uh, diagram of this question. Okay, and here this is length given that is one meter or we can take it a hundred centimeter, right? So this is one meter length, right? Now, so this is of radius R, small r, and this is of radius uh, two r. Okay, now what? What will be the radius of this portion if something uh, if the length of rod is uh, x meter from this left end if we take this length of rod is uh, x meter from this left end at this point so what will be the radius of this point here right at this point uh, what will be the radius okay so if we're going to find this radius let us assume that uh, this is our this is the straight line and if we're going to assume some angle theta right here some angle theta right here so from here to here what will be the height that is 2r minus smaller that is we are getting it is r right now from 10 theta we know that 10 theta equal to this this is uh, perpendicular divided by base so 10 theta equal to for this one this is r divided by whole length that is one meter right this is one meter we can take length here l equal to from here to here let us consider this is y okay and uh, this is the distance how much that is x we have taken so this is y divided by x okay so from here what we get that is our y equal to nothing but x uh, into r divided by l okay let us uh, take L because we are not going to put this value 1 meter. Now, what is here that is y equal to x r divided by L. And what will be the radius of this point? We got the distance that is y. So what will be the radius here? Radius will be basically r dax if you consider that will be r this much of uh, distance that is r plus y. Okay, r plus y and it is equal to r plus x r divided by l right so here what we got that is r dex equal to nothing but uh, we have got that is r plus r divided by l into x okay this is our radius so we know that what we are going to find that is the potential difference right so in order to find the potential difference between these two points let us consider this is point a and this is point b uh, and this is point c so let us assume that at this point from uh, at a distance x so at this point our potential is zero okay we are getting there is no deflection is galvanometer so that here so at this point what will here that is the potential difference between these two point and uh, these two point must be equal that is potential difference between c and a equal to potential difference between uh, c and b right this must be equal for there is no deflection in the galvanometer so and we know that v potential difference is equal to i into r from ohm's law right so if we consider that uh, our i is the constant term because uh, throughout the length same current will be flow okay and that's why only v is directly proportional to r so for no deflection okay there must be equal resistance between these two and these two okay that is r resistance between r a c equal to resistance between r and uh, cv okay 
so there must be equal resistance right now we can uh, consider for this small element considering some small element right here of length that is of uh, dx dx of small element length dx right we got that is we know that our relation that is r equal to resistivity resistivity should be constant throughout the length so it is a constant term r into that uh, if you consider right we can directly consider right here so if you consider at the dx element here okay so what will be the resistance dr for this element resistance ds dr for this element that is we know the resistance is r into rho into uh, r equal to rho into length divided by area okay so from that uh, for the small element that is dr should be equal to resistivity into we have considered length small dx that is and the pi r square r square means r dx square at that point that uh, radius is r dx we have considered so this is coming the yeah, x divided by pi into why would we have find that is r square into 1 plus x divided by l right if you consider x is in meter so we can uh, omit this term right this is the square we can put here length equal to 1 meter so we are getting our value that is rho into dx divided by pi r square r square is the constant term right and this is 1 plus x whole square right now if we integrate both the side we know that uh, resistance from uh, point a to c must be equal to resistance from uh, point b to c for no deflection right so if we integrate both the side that is uh, integration of that is dr ac this is the resistance term must be equal to that is of dr bc right so what you have right now that is dr ac this is the dr is our expression that is density into dx divided by pi into r square and this is of 1 plus x square equal to similarly rho into d dx divided by pi r square 1 plus x square right now uh, these two terms we are going to put the limit for ac right first we have to put the limit for ac what is for ac this is limit from if you consider the length 0 then it limit is from 0 to x and for bc uh, bc what we have that is x to 1 meter right 0 to x and x to 1 meter for ac this is 0 to x and for bc that is x to 1 meter right now uh, these two these terms these terms are getting cancelled out so we are, what we are getting that is integration of 0 to x only dx divided by 1 plus x all square equal to dx and the integration from 0 to uh, sorry this is from x to 1 meter divided by 1 plus x this is sorry this is the wrong term square right so it will be equal to uh, if we integrate 1 by x square that is what you get that is negative of 1 by 1 plus uh, x okay because 1 by x squared dx integration is nothing but minus 1 by x right so if we put the limit from here 0 to x and it is from 0 to and that is from for this side this is uh, x to 1 1 plus x that is limit from uh, x to 1 so what we are getting right now is that is uh, if we put the limit uh, these two terms will cancel out negative negative and we are getting that is 1 by 1 plus x minus 1 this is putting 0 here will give us 1 and uh, this is 1 by 2 minus 1 by 1 plus uh, x right now what we are getting that is 2 divided by 1 plus x is equal to 3 by 2 okay this is 3 by 2 because this term will uh, go to the right side so from here after calculating all this thing we are getting our 1 plus x equal to 4 by 3 so from here we can derive that our x equal to 1 by 3 meter right we have considered that in meter initially okay so this is 1 by 3 meter if we simplify it we are getting that is 0 0.333 uh, meter if we convert it into centimeter that is 0 0.333 into 100 centimeter so what we are getting that value, value is 3. Uh, 
this is 33.33 centimeter is our distance from left leftmost end that is from point a right as per the question here this is our point a and the at a distance that is from uh, uh, 33.33 centimeter we are there is no deflection in galvanometer right this is the first option is your right answer thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today